Hello. So I am making Ofa Popo. Will I say apples to apple? Something like that. Oh my god, that oil. So this is the oil I've saved from that so far. This is just pure oil and I saved it from the can. I used the can. Um, let me show you the can that I've used. <coughs> This is what I used uh, from the Ghana Best. That's what I used. I only used one can and this is the outcome and it looks amazing, right? So I have to, because of the, you know, it's my husband that will eat it as well. So I'm very careful with the type of things I add into it. This is my catfish, my baby little catfish. I hope my husband will eat that. Food is nearly done. Now that is sitting for a few minutes. It's been over how many years I moved over to the UK? Close to eight years now, right? Mana eh? It not be more good. I've never eat, I've never used Ogo. This is Nigerian Ogo to cook. Ever, never, never. I'm really scared or skeptical because I mean the process of it arriving to Nigeria to the UK and the whole process of I don't I doubt the preservation. Manasim give me come so far. Let my husband. I want my husband to test it, the real test, how it's prepared. You know, back home. So that's why I'm going extra mile to you know ensure that I have all the basic ingredients, which is also is the main one. So. Wish me luck. Yet I go. <laughs> okay. My vegetable is properly washed and dies, and that's it. That's ogo, proper Nigerian ogo. Okay, and in it will be going into my hold on. It will be going into my ofa. I'm taking it easy so I don't break my fish. So those are my um, catfish. I used one baby catfish, huh? his baby here. But due to my husband likes um, his fish fried, I fried uh, the mackerel fish. And uh, this is the head of the of the catfish. So I put them all in, and I'm going to add in my vegetable. Allow it to steam for a few minutes, and I'll drop it down. So I don't like my vegetable to be too like cook overcooked that is looking amazing already if you go see here by i don't have ogiri and is it ogiri because you normally use ogiri so i i'm gonna cook i'm cooking it simple in a way that my husband can be able to eat this meal without like complaining i made it in a way he was gonna eat it that looks amazing. Ooh, I'm from Enugu. Not, I'm not from Enugu. I, I, I was born in Enugu, but there is this place we normally go to eat Ofaku in the morning after walking out. And this is taking me back to my memories, my beautiful, lovely memories. My rice is ready, properly cooked. And hi, it's good to go. For the shop. Thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna show you a little picture of our fish meal. Ah, check that catfish. Show them catfish on my wall. this is the outcome of my food as you can see with the help of that oil i reduced it made it even look better because it was full of you know excessive oil i removed it and it looks absolutely beautiful i love it look at it so this is our food ready for the sunday yeah yes <laughs> um this is my first my husband's first time of eating this this is called ofaku or let's say um palm um, stew whatever you can call it and um, thank you guys for watching and also I was also preparing our lunch for the week so this is what we call couscous and I will prepare it for you guys 
one day so you guys can see uh can see how i make it it's a plant-based food and actually this is um, very healthy and proteinous for those who want to lose weight this is what you can use alternatively to rice if you don't want to eat rice you use couscous instead instead of rice so this is beautiful thank you guys for watching bye